With your color and label choices for the lower 48 set, let's save those color and label choices to a style file so that you can reuse the style in other QGIS projects and so you can reapply the style to your current map if you need to. Currently, the style for the USA States layer is stored inside this QGIS project. If you start a new QGIS project and add the same shape file to that project, the color choices I've made here in task 1 and 2 will not transfer over. That is, the styles are not stored inside the GIS data, which is a shape file in this case. Therefore, in order for the style to be used in other QGIS projects, or to apply the style to other layers or give it to a colleague, the style should first be saved out to a separate style file. When saved out to a style file, you can transfer that along with the GIS data set that it will be applied to, or apply its saved style to a different GIS data set. To save a style file, I'll simply open up the layer properties for my layer, go to the style tab, and at the bottom of the layer properties there's a style drop down, and I'll choose save style as a QGIS layer style file. I'm going to navigate to my lab data folder. This will save a QML file, and I'll call it USA States Colors. Then I'll click Save, and the style's now been saved to disk. So let me tempt fate and change the style of my layer, and then reload this saved style to restore it. So I'll just go in here and I'll change the color ramp, and click Apply. So my map now is using a different color ramp. To restore what I had, I'll simply go down to the Style menu, and choose Load Style, select my USA States Colors style file, click Open, and OK, and I've restored my previous style to my layer. In the next task, you'll work on designing a map for Alaska.